Hey everybody, welcome to Travel with T's travel channel. And on my tra travel channel, I feature various forms of travel. I will feature ideas, travel places, reviews of different styles of traveling, styles of traveling that I like, styles of traveling that you might like, um, different styles for different people. I tend to prefer myself um, what I like to call the luxury minimalist style. Okay, so Travel with Tea likes luxury, but at minimal cost. So if it's a crazy, crazy amount, I might not go for it or just depending on what it is. Um, so as you journey along with me, you'll discover various um, forms and styles of travel. And um, I am a travel advisor, that's what I do. I enjoy it, um, meaning when I say travel advisor, what I mean is um, people call me to book trips. People call me to find out about certain hotels, they'll call me to find out about cruises, river cruises, tours. I do all t styles of travel um, from all inclusive to river cruise and everything in and all in between. Um, travel is my passion. I enjoy it. I work at it hard. I learn about it. The thing with uh, a travel advisor is that you are every day learning something. Okay, so you're learning about a new destination. You're going there. You're experiencing it. Now, if I was traveling all the time, I couldn't help you. So I can't be traveling all the time, but we travel quite a lot and we have for a while. We've been lots of different places in the world and I have many more to go. Um, so um, I have a lot of personal experience and then I work behind um, with other people who maybe if I don't know the destination, I'll call them and say, hey, I know you've been here. What do you think? What, do you, what did you think about this? Until I get a chance to go myself. So what today is about is about cruising, okay? Because um, right now, I have a lot of people asking about cruising, going on cruises, um, different times of the year, what time is best, what cruise line is best, what, uh, how much are they, is it all inclusive, just tons of different th questions about cruise lines and cruising. So hopefully with this video, I'll be able to answer some of them for you. Okay, so cruise lines. <laughs> There's a cruise line for everybody, okay? So different cruises offer different things for different people. They're geared toward a certain aspect. Um, so for instance, um, Carnival. Carnival is known as basically, you know, America's cruise ship. That's because Carnival is everywhere. Most people will start out in Carnival and then some of them love it and never leave. But then there's others who kind of, it's not quite a perfect fit for them. So um, it's like hotels, okay? So certain people like certain styles of hotels. Um, so those are the ones that they choose. For me, I like, I usually prefer Marriott, but they're getting kind of, um, oh, their points and everything are kind of, I'm struggling with Marriott right now. So, um, I'm struggling with their points program. So when you stay a lot, I stay a lot. Um, so, um, I'm looking at other options there, but that's kind of the style that I like. Um, so when I say that, then the cruise line that I tend to choose are something like princess, maybe celebrity. Um, but we like princess and I'll give you some reasons why we like princess. <clears throat> For us, we are a military family. My husband's a retired Marine. So we look for different areas that maybe will give us a little better break because um, of my husband's service to the country. And Princess is awesome with that. So Princess offers what's called a $100 onboard military credit. And usually that's for a seven day cruise. So that hundred dollars you can take and you can use that hundred dollars anywhere you like okay so we usually use it I usually use it in the spa um, sometimes husband will use it um, 
because we go to the casino, we might have an excursion. Basically, you can use it anywhere. It's your $100 to use on board the ship for anything that's extra. So on cruise ships, sometimes they have your entertainment's covered, your food is covered, unless you go to specialty dining, your um, like water, coffee, tea, those, those are all covered. The extras are things like um, getting off the ship and you want to go parasailing. I just had somebody do that. Um, that is extra, okay? Um, the casino, of course, they're not going to pay for you to go to the casino. Um, the spa, they're not going to pay for me to go to the spa. I so wish they would. Um, also, drinks. They're not going to pay for you to drink all day, unfortunately. Um, if you find a cruise line that does, let me know. Um, I'll probably travel on them. Um, so anyway, those are the things you can use your credit for. Um, if you're not prior military and um, you're at all interested in stocks or anything, uh, Carnival has a great stock and they also give you a hundred dollar onboard credit. So people who like to cruise might purchase a hundred shares of stock so that they can get their onboard credit and it pays a dividend and it's been phenomenal and gone up. So um, we usually do that. We like Princess um, because they tend to be, for us, and we've noticed, just a step above, okay? So everything is just a hair above. So their customer service, their guest service is just one step above. Um, their demographics are probably somewhere around my age. So plus or minus in, I mean, you'll find every age on cruise ships so close to maybe um, spring break and stuff, you might follow younger people, summer, younger people, January, middle of school year, um, people with vacation like, like me, maybe you live in the cold and you wanna get out of there. Uh, Midwesterners, a lot of Midwesterners on there during that time, it's a great time to travel. Um, some of the best pricing for, say, cruising in general is usually your first weekend of December or even your first weekend after the hol or first week after the holidays. Um, prices tend to drop. When is the best time to buy a cruise? The best time to buy a cruise is when you're ready. <clears throat> and if not, the best time to buy a cruise is usually when uh what we call wave season wave season is a time from usually january through march where people are booking cruises there's a ton of sales going on there there every kind of sale that you can imagine um there's uh onboard credit sales there's buy uh i mean get five different choices free like norwegian right now had a sale going on where you can choose five things so you can choose free internet or you can choose um, a drink package you could choose to upgrade um, there's tons of different things you can you can choose um, with those five choices um, you can also choose what's called specialty dining specialty dining on a ship is not your normal dining it's their next level restaurant so you usually pay a cover so usually somewhere around 25 30 dollars um but it it's it may be like for princess it's their steakhouse so you go to their steakhouse you can literally order a 22 ounce porterhouse steak it's crazy lobster and everything do they have lobster on the ship um during dinner they usually do one night um but this is a special um place um, on the ship and it's usually the specialty dining area. So that's always a little added extra for we're cruising in November again. We've got this cruise um, scheduled. So if anybody would like to join us, just let us know and I'll set you up. Um, you have to let me know. Um, it's called the Gunny and the Grandma Cruise because I'm the grandma and the husband is the gunny. So we have all types of friends. So younger, older makes no difference. Uh, would love to have you on the cruise. Um, something else you should know about cruising. We like it because it is, you get to stop and see a, a ton of different places. So for instance, you could go to the Southern Caribbean and see three different islands. 
To do that on one trip for you, you would have to be flying, stopping, hotels. On a cruise ship, you don't. You get in there, um, you get you get to spend most of the day there, sometimes the evening also, doing whatever you want. Okay, so for instance, um, I'm gonna blog about uh, Bonaire, um, which is a little island in the Southern Car Caribbean, and so that'll be one of my next blogs, and, um, or vlogs, sorry. And um, it's gonna be all about Bonaire. So what to do there, what we saw, how we liked it. So um, continue to join me on these um, videos, and it's a new style for me. Um, I'm familiar with blogging, not blogging. And uh, I look forward to being more active on here. And when all else fails, travel. And if you're not traveling with tea, you should be. So who are you traveling with?